Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Aviary Attorney. We... I don't know where we should go next, honestly. Last episode, didn't somebody say something about a know-it-all? The only know-it-all I can think of offhand would be Cocorico. Or that donkey, that jackass at the library. Why don't we go to the library? Hey, do you think Nathan likes riddles? Ah, uh, riddle me this, why don't you shut up? Of course, all librarians like riddles. Hey, who seems like a bit of a stereotype, that's all I'm saying. Are any of you sexy librarians out there thinking that you like riddles? You'd be like, sexy is a stereotype. It's not bad. Stereotype or not, we gotta hope it's the truth. That boffin is our best chance at getting to the bottom of this. Hey, who, time to put on our polite faces. Here we are now. That'd be gross if you literally... Like, if... I would not be surprised if Sparrowson, like, had somebody else's face that he cut off and he put on his own. I know that sounds horrifically gross and horrible, but Sparrowson sometimes does naughty things. That's beyond naughty. <sighs> good day, Dromeo and Dromeo. Uh, why, good day, Monsieur. It's a pleasure to see you again on this fine day. You can tell Falcon's kissing up. Tell me, kind man, Monsieur, do you like riddles? Of course. Here's one for you, Monsieur. As one has two mouths and four ears, yet talks twice as much as it listens. Oh, crap. You mean us, don't you? You! It's you, Monsieur. It's you. You come in here yammering and yammering, never stopping to close your beaks for one minute. Um, ha! Very good, Monsieur. It's hilarious. Should you stand up? Laugh, Sparrowson. We gotta get into his good books. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, hey, sorry. I, I can't fake laugh very good. Oh, mon dieu. Hey, stop this farce. You messieurs obviously have some inane riddle you aren't solving, so let's hear it. Go on, spit it out. Oh, all right. Well, um, uh, if we were to say that there's a place called the Sleeping City. Oh, yeah, the receipt. The receipt. Uh, in uh, Paris, where would it be? Oh, that's a new one. Uh, sleeping city. Hmm. Could be my bed, but there's not much sleeping that gets done there. Oh. Um. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Do you, Nathan? Uh, really? That was quick. Oh, of course. The riddle was trivially, trivially easy. There are plenty of locations that could be called a sleeping city, but only one place that earns that title in Paris. Oh, and uh, where would that be? Oh, we must know the answer, of course. Obviously, we're just fact-checking to make sure that you got it right. Sparrowson, you don't got to pull an attitude. Think it through, Mishaz. What kind of city is only inhabited by those who sleep all day and night? Um... Oh, I've got it, Falcon. Spain! Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, don't be daft, Sparrowson. Spain isn't a city. Uh, but perhaps Monsieur is referring to the capital of Spain, Madrid. Nice, sleepy place. Very lazy people. Falcon, no! That's rude. Hey, Spain, Madrid, you two are remarkably dense, aren't you? Sleep is a metaphor. Actually, it's one of the oldest and most powerful metaphors in the history of literature. It symbolizes death itself. The sleeping city obviously refers to a city of the dead, a necropolis. A metropolis where Superman lives? Necropolis! Uh, think, messieurs, think. Use your puny avian brains. Do you have any necropolises? Do we have any necropolises in Paris? Of course we do. Uh, of course, the catacombs. Despite the fact there are no cats nor combs in there, the winding tunnels of the dead that lie beneath our very feet. Hey, very good, man, sir. That's the first semi-intelligent thing you've managed to say all day. Uh, you have more questions, don't you? Oh, um, yes, I always have questions. Uh, tell us about the catacombs. Can you give us a brief rundown on the history of the catacombs? Uh. The cemeteries of Paris are overflowing, were overflowing by the end of the last century. It was a mess from what I hear. To create king, uh, space, King Louis the Sixteenth ordered for old skeletons to be excavated and put in the unused mine tunnels that lie under the city. So with a little renovation and many years of hard work, the mines were successfully turned into a subterranean mausoleum. Why don't you just throw them down the Seine so they can float down the river and be someone else's problem? Oh, so it's, uh, wait, what? It's basically a graveyard for a few thousand skeletons? Millions, more like it. Don't underestimate the size of the tunnels, messieurs. 
Um, how can we get in? That's what I need to know. I don't... Uh, I know the bourgeois like to tour the catacombs, don't they? What the hell? Is that historically true? Oh, I'm bored, honey. Why don't we go visit the dead skeleton people? Oh, correct. It was quite the bourgeois tourist hotspot some 20 years ago. But if you're hoping to pay a visit, you're too late. The church had all entrances sealed shut fairly recently. Oh, why would the church do that? Believe it or not, they consider the turning of a mausoleum into a tourist attraction to be in poor taste. I do believe it. Oh, right. Quit talking. Your voices are too similar. I, I, I don't have enough voices for everybody. Uh, they shut down all the entrances? Really? Surely there must be one or two left untouched. Oh, if there's such an entrance, it's not public knowledge. I see. Thank you, sir. I think we're done here for now. Thank you for your time, Monsieur. Good day. If the Sleeping City really is the Paris Catacombs, then there must be some way to get in. Hmm. An underground tunnel network could probably be connected to the city's sewers, right? I don't want to climb in the sewers, ew. I already smell like poop. What? So we just need to find the right manhole and boom. It ain't the first time you've been looking for a manhole. Falcon, I'm surprised at you. Well done. And boom, we're in spooky, scary skeleton town. Now that's a good idea. Or maybe it connects to the same. Uh, perhaps some swimming is in order. Oh, you two dancers are going to get yourself killed. If you really want to visit the catacombs, you'd be best off asking those responsible for the closures. Oh, the dead? No, the church, Sparrowson. They just said the church did it. The dead people? Uh, the church, monster. The church would know if any unsealed entrances still exist. Oh, right. Thank you. We're not exactly the sharpest tools in the shed, myself included. All right, so we got to go back to the Notre Dame, I guess. That's the only church we've been to. It's Romulus and Remus! Did you sneak out, of, out to the Louvre again? I keep telling you, my brother. You can't risk being seen. There's too much at stake. They're going to have similar voices because they're twins. But the good word must be spread, my brother! Uh, we need as many supporters as possible! No more sulking in the shadows. No more cowering in, cowering in the dark. We must rise up against our oppressors! So Silvius is Romulus! Oh, but before I forget, here's your pen back. I borrowed it. Again? Tisk tisk, what happened to yours? I guess they both love green pens. I lost it. Oh yeah, we found it in the, uh, for the case. So careless, mother would not approve. Don't bring up mother! Don't sweat the petty things, brother. Let us focus on removing the obstacles that stand in the way of our father's dream. Yes, right, right. Like the annoying little bird who's been poking his beak into our business. He is dangerously close to uncovering our secret. You want me to take care of him? It would be in our interests. I have a trap in mind, but... Ah, Mandu! Someone is coming. Go hide! Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, my brothers have returned. What can I do for you today? A confession, perhaps? No, actually, Friar, we're here for information. We want to learn about the catacombs that lie under the Paris. Oh, the catacombs? You don't want to go there, my brother. It is a wretched and haunted place. It's a silly place like Camelot. I, I'm sure it is, but we know that the church was responsible ha for having the entrances shut. Oh, so we figured that maybe there's a super secret friar only entrance that only you know about. A secret uh, entrance? No, that's an interesting idea, I must say. You know, you're not the first birds to ask... To have asked about that. Uh, we aren't? Did, Vol did Volerti or Cocorico ask about it? Yes, yes. A cockerel paid a visit yesterday. Oh, uh, perfect posture and snooty or one eyed and scowling. Or scowling? Scowl uh, scowling. Scowling, that's the word. Scowling? Uh, just scowl. Did he scowl? The first. A prosecutor, I think he was, he said. Anyway, I'll tell you the same thing I told him. If you venture into the catacombs, you will not return. Understood? We're going to say not really, because he... No, not really. You didn't tell us how to get into the catacombs at all. Like, the other ones are badass, but I think this is the kind of thing that Falcon would be obtuse on. 
I, nor will I tell you, my brother. Take the hint. You have no business there. Now, if you two will excuse me, I have a sermon to prepare. Be on your way. Damn, another dead end. Oh, man. Hey, that's funny, because we wanted to see dead people. Yeah, that's what I meant. I meant to be funny. Uh, maybe it's time we wrap this up. We can tell the inspector what we found and call it a day. Ew, don't just quit yet, Falcon. I've managed to take something from the friar's pocket when he gave his little warning. Sparrowson, you pickpocketed him? That's not admissible in a court of law. Well done, though. Seriously, again? This is becoming a bad habit for you. I swear, he's better criminal than anything else, Sparrowson is. Well, go on, then. Let's see what you pilfered. Ooh, this. Another green pen? You found this pen in the friar's robes? Ooh, yep. Interesting. Actually, this is more than interesting. This is amazing. This is the exact same pen that Judge Romulus uses. It even contains the same green ink. Oh, um, huh. Do you think it's uh, exactly the same pen? Or do you think Romulus and Remus have a matching set? Well, they are twins. I honestly don't know. But I do know this, that it may come in handy. I'm going to keep a hold of it. Either way, we've stolen a pen. Uh, we're at a dead end, though. My gut tells me that the friar is hiding something, but I can't get him to cough it up. Oh, hey, it's not like we can beat information out of him. Is there a reason you say that, Sparrowson? I have a feeling Sparrowson would love to beat information out of people. Oh, hey, let us just go do other stuff. Maybe we'll stumble across some more clues. Ah, uh, maybe you're right. Let us roll! Interesting. A new day dawns. February the 8th. I don't know where to go, to be honest. We, we haven't investigated, I don't think, the jail yet that Romulus escaped from. Interesting, though. We know Romulus and Remus have been talking to each other. And that pen is bound to come into play later on. And we do have the cult pamphlet that Romulus signed as Silvius. At least I'm pretty sure they're the same guy. I, unless they have a third brother I'm getting confused about, but I doubt it. Either way, thanks so much for watching, everybody. And next time, maybe we'll go to the jail? I don't know. I'll figure it out between this time and next. Thanks for watching out. Ah! I'm doing good! Ah, now I'm embarrassed. Run away! Bye, everybody.